Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, on our way up to the garage this morning, uh, PR Car Sales, where we bought the car last week, and if you've not seen that video, I'll leave a link up here. Um, we, um, we've got a little job that they need to do on it today. It's something and nothing. It's not nothing to worry about. It's just a, a little little tiny thing uh, that needs to be uh, fixed. So the, uh, the gentleman who owns the uh, garage uh, said to me, don't worry, Paul, we'll take care of it for you. No problem at all. We'll send you off to the calf. You can have a breakfast on us. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, it's going to be a healthy one. I will make sure it's a healthy one. Uh, so we're going to go up there, let them do the job. It's going to take probably about half an hour, I imagine. Uh, and then I've got uh, the rest of this video, which I'm going to do up at the storage yard, which will be on the caravan fridge. Now, please don't switch off. It's, uh, it's all good news. But anyway... Um, if you've not seen any of the videos to that, I will leave a link up here. Um, but basically, we've been waiting now for about the last three weeks to get this caravan fixed. Um, and uh, we've now got a result. Um, so I'll show you more about that later on. Uh, we are still booked to go away at the end of August. We are still booked for the 9th of August to have the tow bar done. Unfortunately, uh, in one of my last videos, I actually said that... Um, they'd be doing the tow bar at home uh, and I was going to film it in that uh, unfortunately I can't take that day off work um, so they're going to do the car at my place of work we've got uh, permission for them to do that so that's no problem um, then uh, I have actually spoken to the tow bar people uh, and I don't know if anyone remembers I actually told you that you know all the people that I have actually phoned over the last few weeks and the headaches I've had, um, you know, trying to get a reasonable price for a tow bar, a detachable one. Um, people have, you know, been taking the mick a bit, you know, on their prices. So, literally in our village where we live, um, a company called Southern Tow Bar, uh, they are fitting the tow bar. They are, have also said to me, Paul, if you want to, you can come out and video our fitters fitting a tow bar to another car, which is great. I, you know, I couldn't be happier. I'm going to miss out on seeing this one done. Um, I am very OCD when it comes to stuff. They've had, they've had, they've, they've had to send me pictures um, of how they actually. The underside of the bumper has got to have a little cutout in it for the, to expose the hole for the detachable part on the tow bar. Uh, if I've still got the pictures for that, I'll put them in now. Um, so, yeah, you've got to cut out a little bit for that. Um, but other than that, it's you can't see it. Obviously, only when the, the, the swan neck is actually on. So yeah, so they've given me, they, they've asked me if I want to do that, and I'm over the moon. So yes, I'm going to go out with them for a, a, a fitment. You know, obviously, as long as the people that um, are having the um, tow bar fitted don't mind, yeah, we're going to go for it. Uh, so yeah, so that'll be an up and coming video as well um, So anyway, I'm literally five minutes away from where I need to be. I will come back to you once we're all fixed Well, we're all done at the garage now. Um, everything's fine um, uh, The little problem I had with the car was just um, the um, handbrake was a little bit too high um, Even though it passed an MOT and it was fine for me um, being you know slightly OCD um, it was it was it was just wasn't right so now I've got it on four clicks so I'm happy I'm a happy chappy <laughs> so uh, yeah they were really good about it they uh, they bought me breakfast and uh, I probably won't eat nothing now for the rest of the day it was uh, a really good breakfast but uh, anyway so that's done uh, we're just uh, leaving B&Q in fact actually I've just been to B&Q and changed a uh, something that Sarah bought the other day in B&Q, so uh, we've done that. So now we're on our way up to the caravan, uh, and we're going to have a little chat about that as well. It's horrible weather outside, but I'm not going to let that dampen my spirits. Uh, we've uh, come up here because the caravan is finally fixed. Um, it was uh, two things that was wrong with the caravan. It was, like I say, the fridge. Um, it was uh, this probe, um, which... As far as I can make out, and I, 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 I you know, I'm, I'm just guessing here, but this part of the probe 
goes into the fridge. Um, and by the look of this, um, this actually is for the, um, when you've got it on gas and it tells it when it's whatever, you know, and that's blown. <laughs> so that's no good anymore. This part, um, to buy, if you buy it and change it, um, Gary uh, bought this part. I think it was just under 40 pounds. Um, the other part that was uh, also uh, broken on this, um, and we're still sort of trying to figure out why, um, but uh, we haven't come up with a, a reasonable explanation yet, um, is the, the power board uh, within the actual um, fridge, at the back of the fridge itself. Um, so you have a series of connections. Um, the actual fridge, as, uh, sorry, the probe, uh, as far as I can remember, uh, goes on to these two um, connectors here. Uh, I might be wrong. Um, but I don't know if you can actually see that fuse, but that fuse is blown. <laughs> now, that fuse lit up like a Christmas tree when we changed it. Um, so this part was £161, I think it was. So, fingers crossed, it lasts longer than the, the two years that the last one did. Because uh, it was changed about two years ago. Um, but anyway, it's now changed. Both parts. And it's all working, so Gary's told me. So, what I'll do is I will uh, set the camera up again. We'll have a look at the fridge. And make sure it definitely is all working. The fridge. We'll turn the master switch on, which is behind me. Up here. We will turn that on. We've got lights, lights are all working. I'm going to try the pump. Voltage is a healthy, I think that's 13 volts. Yes, 13 volts. That's on the solar panel. So we will try the um, display on the fridge. I, I promise you, I've not tried this. So in three, two, one. So it's an auto one, so it goes straight to battery and it's on level 10. There is a spanner sign there. I will ask Gary what that is, um, but it seems to be working fine. I am absolutely thrilled. It's taken so long to get to this stage, but uh, inside, yes, it is dirty. I know it's dirty, um, but yeah, all the screws have been put back. Gary's done another brilliant job. So what I'll do is I'll just leave that running for a moment. We'll go outside and we'll just show you. You'll have to excuse the wind because it is very windy up here as per normal with this storage yard. Um, but uh, we'll go around, we'll have a look uh, exactly um, the parts that Gary changed. Now, these are very simple to uh, get to. Uh, I'm not checking his work, I really am not. I just wanna, you know, for my own well-being, know that um, what's been done. So. In that little box is where the power board is. That's all been changed, that's all brand new. And the actual probe, now I can't tell you where the probe is. Oh, it's up there, up in the, up in the very top area here somewhere, just up here. So that's been done. I'm happy, I'm happy, happy. So overall condition of the caravan, I mean, she's looking really clean. Um, you know, we've not, um, we've not been up here at all and washed it. She does look clean. Front's looking a little bit dirty though. That's only to be expected. Someone's alarm keeps going off on their caravan. So, but um, yeah, she does look clean. I'm, I am sorry if you can hear, there's a few black marks. I'm sorry if you can hear the wind. A little bit of dirt down there. But yeah, overall, she's not too bad. I broke this mirror. I broke this before we started having all the problems that we've been having lately. I wonder if the superstitions or the superstition is right about breaking mirrors. So we're gonna sit here um, in the caravan for the next uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, just to make sure that the caravan fridge is all working. I'm not uh, for one moment doubting uh, Gary's work. I think he's an excellent uh, caravan engineer and uh, he's been doing it a very, very long time. So, you know, his work speaks for him. Um, he's, um, he's, you know, pretty much booked up, you know, very hard to get hold of Gary if you need him on a certain day. But uh, we were very fortunate that Gary could actually fit us in. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm ever so grateful to him. It's cost us, a, you know, a tidy penny to get the caravan uh, all, all up and running. 
But uh, do you know what? It's worth it. It really is. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch on our subscription as well while I'm here. Um, and um, we've had a, a massive influx of uh, subscribers. Uh, we, I, I contribute it to the, uh, the last few videos that I've done. Um, mainly the one of the 19 minute waffle, um, which uh, was about the Sanyon Corando. Um, and that's now gone. Uh, I got um, way past my expectations of views on that. Uh, and the thumbs up on that one was great. I got a few thumbs down, but you know, you do with every video. Um, the last couple of videos, the two lives that we did, uh, they done pretty well. You know, they, you know, I, I didn't expect to do massively, but they did well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I contributed to. Um, all the people that have been with me from day one, I really do uh, thank you so much. Uh, and the new subscribers as well, I thank you. And I really hope you, you stay with me. Uh, like I say, we're not far off that magical 1,000 subscribers. Um, and uh, we want to get there um, sooner rather than later. Um, we are still going to keep the channel very grounded. I'm not going to get above my station, like I said in my very first video. Please look back at that last video, that very first video. Um, it you know goes to show you that um, really the channel hasn't changed much. Um, I'm just that little bit more confident behind the camera. Um, I still am an R, um, but most people do. I mean, it's just, you know, nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, yes, I, I, I thank all my subscribers. You, you know, I, I really hope you do stick it with us. Um, there's plenty more videos to come on the caravan. There's going to be a few videos on the Kia. Um, one namely is that uh, the tow bar is being fitted. Now, I won't be able to do what I said, and that is... Um, uh, do a video on the fitting of that. I think I've already touched on that earlier on in this in this video, um, but they have allowed me to uh, go out on, a, on on one of their fits, so that's going to be good. Um, but anyway, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up there. As we always say, like, share, subscribe. Please give it the thumbs up if you thought it was interesting, and I will see you in the next one.